good day everybody welcome back to another episode of the survival let's play i am so excited to be back um because now we have gregory here safe and sound back at our base and i'm very excited to get our our enclosure made for him so yeah we're gonna do that today i also have a bunch of materials and i think i'm about to sneeze oh, oh i thought i was gonna sneeze oh my goodness oh all right it went away okay i'm good now okay back to the video <laughs> All right, Gregory, so are you ready for your new home? You're absolutely adorable. So, um, also, before we get started, I want to head down to the Bamboo um, Automatic Farm. So, thank you guys so much for the feedback on that. You guys really seem to like it, and I want to say thank you. Um, I know I'm not the best at Redstone, for, but for those of you that were so kind and made, like, some really nice comments you you don't know yeah you guys are just so nice you're always so nice but yeah thank you guys so much so i did change up a little bit of the redstone um i did bring the the pistons down as well and i also added another another um set of pistons and the reason why i did that was to make it a little bit more efficient um i actually looked back at the footage right before i released the video last was it yesterday or the day before and i realized you know what the pistons could have been brought down just a little bit but what I decided to do instead was go ahead and add like a second row of uh, pistons. Also, what I did was I went ahead and added panes here to this little middle portion where the slabs are. And it's absolutely incredible. You can actually pick up any kind of bamboo that uh, gets left behind here and that maybe the minecart doesn't pick up. Um, you can pick it up right here. It's so easy. You could just... Boop, it'll you can get it right through the glass so yeah it works out pretty pretty fantastic um also somebody had asked me why i'm using these hopper minecarts when i have a hopper down there you know obviously picking up our stuff well the reason for that is because the bamboo is going to grow whether we bone mill it or not right so let's say we're in the vicinity and it's going to continue to grow it activates the um the observers and then, you know, of course, the bamboo's gonna drop, and then where's it gonna go, right? Because we don't have that hopper minecart running 24 7. So, we'll have a way to pick up bamboo no matter what we're doing, even if we're not around. So, it's kind of like a, I mean, it's not gonna be super lossless, but at least it's a way that we're gonna be able to um, get all the bamboo possible. So yeah, um, I also cleaned it up a little bit. I added some some more vines and stuff. Um, and hopefully this vine will grow down so I can remove this door. I kind of didn't want a door here. But I think this will be cool once the vines grow over it. And I added some switches with, of course, some, um, some signs. Now, obviously, I know what these do. But once I put out that download, you know, for you guys, that way you kind of have an idea. Um, also, I cleaned it up in here a little bit. I moved the switch here instead for the minecart. So we got the minecart on and off switch. And it's pretty flawless. It works pretty good. So yeah, cleaned it up quite quite, uh, quite well, I would say. Um, and yeah, so... Oh yeah, <laughs> and I was cleaning out this little area here. I'm not done with the ceiling. But um, when I was cleaning out all of this area, I ended up bumping into our little water elevators, which is pretty cool. So I decided to make them where, you know, once you're floating through here, you can actually glance at the bamboo farm for just like a second. Um, also, I have a ton of materials in here that... My goodness. But look at all the bamboo we have. Like, check this out, guys. And Gregory is starving. <laughs> I've been feeding him here and there, but I didn't have a lot of bamboo on me. Um, but I want to feed him that. Oh, and I wanted to test out something. I wanted to see if he really eats cake. Like, is that really a thing? Let's see. Go ahead. Oh, well, this is the fridge. We wouldn't put cake in there, I don't think. Well, I guess some people could, but um, let's just grab a cake here. Does he eat cookies? That's something else. I want to see if he eats cookies. What else can we test what he eats? Maybe pumpkin pie? Hmm. He seems like a pumpkin pie kind of guy, right? All right. He knows we're going to feed him. He's he, he knows it's coming. So well, let's try this first. Let's uh, let's give him some, some cake. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so cool. Look at him. He eats cake like I do. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, cookies. Let's see. Does he eat pumpkin pie? Maybe he's full. Maybe the cake got him full. And I've been kind of feeding him while I was feeding him when I got him back over here. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to today's project. So the enclosure for Gregory, I kind of have clear, cleared out a little bit. And I've also tried to make it. Well, I kind of messed with the landscaping a little bit to try and make it to where he's not going to be able to jump over and, you know, 
run off on us, you know? <laughs> so the enclosure I have, what I tried to do was two blocks high and I think he won't be able to get over this. Over here, there is a leaf block, but obviously he's not gonna be able to get through here. There's a tree here. Um, and then over here, I have this little cave that I'm going to make for him. So, you know, in case it's raining and cause from what I know, they don't like thunderstorms very well. So that way he'll have a nice little place to hide. And then over here, of course, is all two blocks. So um, I hear a skeleton. I did hear a skeleton. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's go ahead and put this stuff away. Now, I have collected about a stack of everything. I've been trying to... Oh, yeah, you know what? While we're doing this, too, I do want to create kind of a bamboo forest for him. So I was thinking, you know, we might actually have to move that. Or... I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, um, obviously, their main source of food is bamboo. And I want to say that they may pick this bamboo on their own. So, I want to have a good, you know, amount of bamboo here growing for them um, naturally. Uh, let's do that. Uh, yeah, I guess the bamboo is going to stop about there, probably. Um, and then over here on this side as well. Well, you know, I think I'll add a couple here. I think it'll look pretty cool to have some just kind of growing on the sides here. Um, and then here as well. Right there. I think that'll look pretty awesome. Maybe one there and... Well, uh, there. There we go. Perfect. And uh, where else do we want? Yeah, we can maybe a couple here too. Yeah, yeah. I think this is looking pretty cool. Maybe we can have a few over here as well. Um, yeah, those aren't going to grow very tall, though. Okay. Okay. I think I'm feeling that. That's, that's feeling pretty cool. For, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and put all of this bamboo up. And, um, let's see here. So, the, one of the, the first things I wanted to work on also was, um, this little area here. So, obviously, we're going to have to kind of fence it off. But I wanted to blend in nicely with kind of the theme we have going here, which is, of course, the stone kind of a look now I want to make sure that let's see we'll go like this let's do that cool cool bring this all around here place that like so but I want this to let's see maybe we could put this here let's see what that looks like oh yeah I like that look see that's the look I'm going for just around the edges here and then of course right here I want to say this will be our main entrance. So I don't want to close that off too much. Um, so let's go ahead and... Oh man, this mining bug is so crazy. Okay, so... Um, hmm, that's looking pretty fantastic. Now, the only thing I was thinking, like right here, maybe? Um, how about right here? Let's go ahead and bring this up. Like... Well, not like that. Let's do it like that. And then... Like so. This is looking pretty cool. I want to say this though. Let's see. Let's bring this back here. Put that in front. And go like that. Let's see. How does that look? Oh yeah. That's better. I like that. That's pretty good. Okay. And then right here. Um, well, I think we're actually going to have to remove that bamboo. We'll place the wall there. Because we'll need to make kind of a gate here. Maybe let's just go like that. For now um, or actually the better thing to do would be to use spruce I think spruce will look nicer um, yeah I think spruce would look a heck of a, a lot better so let's remove that put the spruce in and yeah that's that's pretty good and then we'll put um, some trap doors there obviously we have the bamboo here but I wasn't thinking about this but we're actually gonna have to move that because we gotta put in our little cobbly fence here to keep the bamboo or keep the bamboo <laughs> to keep the the little guys you know in well gregory um and hopefully we'll get another um another panda in here because i'd like to breed them i think that'd be awesome to have some little baby pandas running around here i think it'd be so cute and then as you know time progresses we'll you know push this back and, and make this enclosure just a little bit bigger you know that way they don't look so crowded or whatever but um i think this would be, be a great place um yeah, I like it. So far, so good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is make a fence gate. And let's grab this. Um, I already have some sticks on me. Perfect. Fence gates. Fence gates. Fence gates. There we go. Make two of those. I keep hearing a skeleton and I don't know where he's at. I want to say 
Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> the way that connected. That actually gives it some character. I don't know. I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll with it. We'll go with that. I know. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It's nice. Okay. So, um, hmm. I want to make a little pond. Now, right here we have the bamboo. It's going to be growing up nicely. So, I was thinking most pandas, they like to kind of uh, sunbathe or whatever in the water. So, let's, uh, well sunbathe in the water does that make sense <laughs> is that what you call it I, I mean i don't i don't even know um okay let's scoot that back and then what we're gonna do here let's see and i love that we can now waterlog um like what do you call it slabs and we can waterlog uh stairs so i mean it's gonna look really cool so maybe we should just extend this a little bit further and what i'm gonna do here is just kind of throw it in randomly we can uh, go like so, bring that all the way around here, definitely do that, and then go boom, 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 maybe bring that up a little bit, put that there, that's pretty good, yeah, I like that. Okay, so now for around the edges here, we're going to go ahead and put in some stairs, which I did not grab, let's grab those really quickly. Now I wanted this to be a small pond and it's actually turning out to be kind of large it's not too bad though i think it'll be fine i think though i think gregory will appreciate it i keep saying they as if we have like several pandas <laughs> we don't have several pandas not yet anyway all right so now on with the stairs so i think i want to put stairs here stair there we'll put that there uh, make that a full block and let's go like that that's gonna have to stay as is all right so that's looking pretty interesting uh actually gotta fill that in there i think this is out too much i'll go ahead and make that grass and then this could be a stair hmm we'll make that a stair as well something like that i guess hmm nah we'll do that instead okay <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and grab our water oh wait what <laughs> what am i doing okay let's grab our water bucket here and we're going to start okay yeah we're gonna have to keep getting water from over here haha -ha, i figured it out yes thank you okay i always knew that all along that you could just do that okay so now that we have the water hole finally fixed it shouldn't have taken that long, guys. <laughs> there was probably an easier way to do this. Um, and then this, I decided to go ahead and bring that up a little bit. All right, so now we can go ahead and just kind of throw like a little bit of stonage around here. You want to call it stonage? We can. <laughs> that sounds like a good name for it. Um, that's awesome. Okay, so do I have any smooth stone on me? Unfortunately, I do not. All right, no problem. All right, let's go grab some uh, some stone because I want to make some buttons. I like using those for like pebbles or rocks or whatever for around the um, the the ponds. You know, I think it looks pretty awesome. Um, so, I mean, this is really turning out to be a really cool project. I love doing landscaping stuff. Um, once upon a time, like kind of in the beginning of my channel, I did in fact actually I think I have buttons in here. Um, I did, oh, I have a lot, but <laughs> you guys see, I decorate with them often. I have like a whole stack of them. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I had a series, uh, it was like a landscaping series. Um, didn't do very well, but uh, for those of people that did watch it, um, there, there seemed to be a good, uh, a couple of people that really just enjoyed the series. I don't know. Bringing something like that back to the channel, I, I kind of considered. Um, let's get this away from there. Let's put it right here instead. Is th look at the buttons in the hotbar. Aren't they placed in like a weird... They're like in the corner of the, the box. The box. Yeah, yeah. They're in the corner of the box. It's weird. I don't remember that being a thing. Yeah, I'm just finding little bugs here and there with this new beta. Obviously, it's a beta, so it's going to have bugs. So I'm not going to complain about them. Um, so I'm well aware, but yeah. Just something, some little things I've noticed. Um, and I'll put that there. Do we have any space over here for another, uh, no, we don't. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that's cool. And the bamboo is growing nicely. It's growing pretty quick too. Um, so now let's go ahead and make a little, like a little, I guess, what do you call this? 
It's like a, a little platform that I've seen in some, uh, I mean, because I did, obviously, I always do this, like, right before I build something, I'll look up, you know, like, Google images of, uh, certain places or whatever I'm going to build, and I've noticed, like, with pandas, they have this little, it's like a little platform that they like kind of just chilling on and being lazy on. They're so cute when they, when they do that, too, but, um, and I was thinking, I mean, this place is pretty snug, but I'm trying to wonder... I'm wondering like where would be a great place and I'm thinking like maybe right here it's only gonna be like a two by wide platform because it's just Gregory um, so I was thinking we could go like like that maybe hmm that may, might be too tiny though let's see two by two hmm yeah, I think it's okay. I think it, I don't think it'll be fine. And then we'll go ahead and put like a little staircase up here for him. Let's say we'll put it right there. All right, so let's go ahead and throw some stair or uh, fences. <laughs> let's throw some fences right there, and then maybe go this way with the platform. Maybe bring this out this way. Bring a stair there. I don't know. He might. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's go like that. We're gonna put a stair here and a stair here instead. So that way he can climb up. And on this side, he's gonna climb up. And then we can put like a little, oh no, not that, <laughs> a slab there. There we go, something like that. And he can climb around here, looking all cute and stuff and having the time of his life. I think that looks pretty good. Alrighty guys, so I am back and check it out. The bamboo is grown, well it's not completely grown to its full potential, but I used about two stacks of bone meal <laughs> to try and grow this up as much as possible. And I think this is pretty good. I think this is a good start. Um, and this little cave area, the only thing I can honestly think to do is just leave this as natural looking as possible for him. Like, I, I mean honestly, I don't know. I don't know how pandas like to sleep and I didn't look that part up oh so sad but I you know it's cool I think I'll work on this off camera and just kind of show you guys the progress to the cave but I've, I've done so many cave builds with you guys like honestly does that really seem any like interesting to you <laughs> probably not but yeah um, I think I think I'm pretty happy with that um, now one thing I do want to leave in here because obviously I'll be coming in here to feed him quite often is I was gonna tuck away a little um, chest over here and I'm gonna throw some bone meal we could probably throw, we'll just throw all of this in here because for one, we have a freaking awesome bamboo farm. So we can easily get like, you know, a ton of bamboo at any time, at any given time. So, oh wait, what, I, what am I doing? <laughs> all right, let's throw a torch right there. That's pretty good. Now we need to work out the lighting. Obviously, I don't want like, you know, a bunch of torches around here. I want it to look really nice. So I was thinking, um, I do have sea lanterns and I also have some um scaffolds you know i have a ton of them and guys i have been thinking of so many cool decorating things with scaffolds i mean honestly there's going to be so many cool things that you can do i showed you guys a chair last episode i don't know if you, you remember that but yeah the chair thing is a super cool idea i love it and then obviously we have all the trap doors in the world now so like you could really mix match it up um for this one i guess i just use the birch honestly i'm not even like fully happy with the birch door i don't know which one i like the most honestly I'm going to say maybe, possibly, I like the trap door. Maybe. Let's just try the trap door really quick here. We have a little bit of time, so why not? Um, let's just remove the trap door here. Hello? Okay, and... I mean... Yeah, you know what? I think I like that better. I think that's okay. I think that's so much better, though. I think it's better than the birch door, for sure. Alright, so where are my scaffolds? Where did I leave them? Oh, I know where I left them. I left them at the bamboo farm. Okay, so let's go grab those really quickly. Uh, oh, yeah. I have an, a quicker way to get down here now, guys. We can you can see the, the bamboo farm from here. Or farm. <laughs> so you come over here. And it's just an easier way to get to it. So anyways, let's grab... Yep, there's the scaffolds. And then I also want to grab some sea lanterns and some white banter. Uh, banters. <laughs> Banners. Good grief. I cannot work with words today. Words are not my thing. Not today, anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's grab some banners. I have brown banners. Don't want those, though. Um, and do I have sticks on me? I do. Cool. And so I'm going to need about four banners. Where are you at, banners? I uh, need a white banner. Uh, yeah, I have enough for three. Let's just make some more sticks here. And then we can make 
Um, let's make a lot of banners. We have 10 white banners now. Why not? Um, okay, and so let's go ahead and grab some sea lanterns. I should have... Uh, I think we're going to make... Um, we're going to need two, so one... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's just grab that many. We're definitely not going to use all these guys, don't worry. But, um, anyways, so I know that there are a lot of, like, lantern designs. I don't know how to, ex like explain it but it's kind of almost like an oriental style lantern that I think are just really beautiful they're always so beautiful and I actually have one in my own house um, in my living room actually as we speak and it kind of actually looks similar to this it has like a little shelving on it where you can like put like pictures and stuff like that and I actually have one but I thought it would be pretty cool to have one in here for um, for a lantern uh, for some lighting or whatever so I was thinking maybe we could put it like right here and I think that uh, Gregory will be pretty happy with it. Um, actually, he probably won't even care. <laughs> He'll be like, oh, whatever. Um, so let's see. Let's put that there for now. And then go like this. Like so. And then throw another one on top. You know, we may only need to put one of these. We may, Yeah, we may only need to put one. Because they're just it's kind of big, I guess. I didn't realize... How kind of large they are can we put oh we can't put that there so let's uh break this bamboo all right cool it's cool we'll just yeah we'll be all right you can't even tell it's gone um but look at that lantern guys what do you think does a lantern like that belong in a place like this i would say so it kind of gives it that oriental feel if we could see it from here let's see can we pillar okay there we go yeah i think that looks fantastic that looks so cool Okay, guys, now right before we go to get Gregory, okay, I know for the third time, <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. I worked out the lighting. Um, I just used glow, glow, oh my gosh, words, words are so hard today. Oh, okay, glowstone and carpet, okay, so glowstone and carpet, and I think it's working, it worked out pretty good. I don't like torches, like torch spam, it's just it's so annoying, and so I had to definitely get rid of it, so yeah, looking, looking pretty good. I like it. I think Gregory's gonna love it. Yeah, looking fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and oh, got, I got the bamboo here. So, all right, so we're gonna go get him. But first, I'd like to sleep because do I have a bed on me? I do. Fantastic. All right, yeah, I want to sleep first because I don't want any creepers or whatever. Um, because it is kind of hard for them to follow you. I don't know. It's like, it's. I think it's difficult with any animal if you have like their favorite food or whatever. Um, and it's just hard for them to, to follow. I don't know why. It's just like a thing. All right, Gregory. We are on a journey. A, a short journey, okay? Let's go to your home. Are you ready? You ready to go? Uh, I know. I know. This place is just so lovely. I know. But we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah, it's right this way. So, so close. You're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely love it. And I worked so hard on it. You have bamboo for days. You have a water hole even, a water hole. You have a cave to keep you away from, um, or keep you out of the rain and protect you from thunderstorms because I know you hate those. I know, I have been told. So yeah, come on, quickly, quickly. All right, you're gonna be so excited when you see this place. Come here, hurry, hurry. You're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely love it. Gotta, get, get, gotta go up the bridge though. Yeah, gotta go up the bridge and then right up in here. Don't fall in the water. Please don't fall in the water. No creepers, please. Come on in, Gregory. Come in. Come, come on in. Look. Look at this place. Good boy, Gregory. So here's, there you go. Have, enjoy your bamboo. Let's close that right up and uh, look at him. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. He's not going to eat it though. Guess, I guess he doesn't want to eat it. But it's okay. Well, guys, I think that's it for today's episode. We got Gregory in his little new habitat. And look at him. <laughs> look at him go. He is eating his bamboo. He's all happy and stuff. Oh, man, this is awesome. I just, I just hope that he loves it here. I hope he does. And eventually, we'll get some friends here for him. Is he stuck? Is he stuck? I think, yeah, he was a little stuck there. Okay. Um, but if, ah, eventually we'll get um, a, a, some more pandas in here. Maybe at least, a, I mean, maybe one more so we can breed them or whatever because baby pandas are so, so cute. Um, but uh, yeah, and then we'll definitely, we're probably going to extend and make this enclosure a lot bigger because we're going to need more space or whatever. So anyways, guys, that's it. So let's go ahead and get down to our subby temple and add our two lucky subscribers today.
Okay, and our two subscribers today are My Fire Names This and Mike Zamora. Thank you, gentlemen, for the incredible incredible support and the the great comments and and thank you everybody else as well keep trying keep commenting and and just wait guys you guys will be definitely somewhere in our world i, I don't always use the sebi temple for so for those of you that are asking it kind of just depends on the episode so um wherever we're at i'll i'll post you guys here so i mean there's there's so many people but that's not it they're, they're all over the world so anyways again uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys found some inspiration in today's episode as always i love you all and i'll see you next time bye